Hello, sir. Please, okay. can you just come close to your mic, sir? Can so, you hear clearly, please, sir? All right, all right. Come close. So I will have to start right now. So what I'm going to take you on is some graphic designing how to be an expert um the truth remains that uh, this in, in every course that we, um, we have here in this program most of them are practical courses graphic designer is some graphic designing is something that is practical and you cannot do it without practicing uh, so um I'm sorry that uh, I can't be able to show you guys one or two on the system here, but at least um, what I will say in the next couple of minutes or uh, moments um, will help you. And it will also boost your um, interest for some of you who may actually decide to go into graphics designing. Um, time check now is 10. 59, I'm going to start. Um, I, just like Augustine already know, we, we, go for, um, we have to stick to our timing. So um, let's start by finding what we about. Please, someone who is close to bike or close to sewing machines will turn off his or her mic. Onyechi, can you turn off your mic? Okay, thank you. Uh, so, um, graphic designing is an art and practice of planning and projecting ideas and experiences with visual and textual what context content like you no know, um is something that you see you arrange your text you project your ideas you thought that people will see it um, and it will communicate. Um, in other things, uh, graphic design communicates certain ideas or messages in a real way. It's something that you can see. Just for example, can you please can you turn off your mic? Sorry. Please, um, please, I'm Thank you, sir. So I continue. Okay, um, sorry for that. Um, so these visuals, um, for example, we have uh, all these of them. Um, these visuals can be as simple as business logo or as complex as page layouts on a website, textual elements, and implements them into multiple ideas of media. Uh, We have um, different uh, various styles. So graphic design is one of them. The role of a graphic designer in the communication and process is that it encodes or interprets um, the message. You understand? It encodes and as well interprets the message. They work on a, in, a interpretation or an ordering of presentation of visual messages. You all, they only involve in the visual ones that you can see. You understand? So um, they are, there are elements that's involved in graphics designing. Get what I'm trying to let you guys know is the basics and what you need to know and understand. What will actually motivate you to go into graphics designing? Um, well, I, I'm not yet. Uh, I've not yet arrived to the um, softwares itself. No, handling the softwares can be a different thing right here. But you should, you, I'm trying to let you know, first of all, what, how uh, this graphic design of a thing works and understand more about it. Okay, so let's move on. In graphic design, the elements are color. You must be conversant with colors. You must know your color. You must know your form, lines, shapes, sizes, space, and texture. Uh, you must know all these things. You must have it uh, in your head must have them at the back of your mind anytime you are designing. Uh, graphic designing is, is, let me just, well, everything is more of intellectual, but it requires your ability to recognize things and put them into design. You get it? So um, you must be intelligent. You, you must not be having a kind of, um, you must not be genuine or 
um, a first class before you start graphic designing is you must have a an idea of design. So um, types of graphic designing. Uh, let's move down to types. Graphic design is composed of many fields and specialization. Of course, it's ranging from um, print and web designing to animation and motion graphics. And graphic design offers opportunity and options for individual of almost every many interests. Anywhere you can, you can venture into uh, <clears throat> motion design websites. Like websites is which involves um, creating, engaging, and intuitive um, web pages for users. Of course, uh, this includes overall layout, color scheme, and navigation. Most of you must have been. Or I don't know, most of you must have been professionals in websites, but what you don't know is that it's part of graphics designing because some people use templates to design websites, some people use code. So in that code, it must be a, a design, a, a form of design. So when you view the front end, when you uh, view the front end from a web browser, you find out that it's a kind of form of design after coding. So if you want a template, although I'm not going to web design right now, but it's part of it. So I'm trying to explain what I mean by web design. You can actually do that by getting um, a template and redesigning it to your own. So when you have the knowledge of design. So um, graphic design involves a user experience. You call it UX, user experience design. It's focused on ensuring a, web, a website and application is easy and satisfying to use. These, design, these designers emphasize value, usability, adaptability, and what? Desirability, you design it to your own. You design it to your own taste. Um, another one here is um, motion designing. Motion designing and animation. You cannot call it um, animation or motion design. You know, sometimes um, uh, you see cartoon and some motion graphics, um, some, uh, football clubs or like Premier League and some others they do, they bring out less cartoon is animation. So, so motion graphics is one of them, is one of um, graphic designers. So you can actually do that. It brings visual element to life through special effects. It's come, you can use it on TV shows, you can use it on video games, and as well, you can uh, use it on um, movies. Movies. So that is that. Um, let's move on to how to be a better graphic designer. It's very important. It's very, very important. You must have to. Anything you do, you must need to what, improve. When you United, he challenged me with something that was emotion. We usually read this. Someone was actually doing that, but he challenged me. He said I should learn how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. I would just focus on graphics, designing um, the ones that you can see, flyers and all that. But he challenged me. He said I should learn how to do it. From time to time, he will laugh at me and say, ha, you've not learned how to do this. But I focus. I have to use my own discretion to actually uh, bring out something and even add some sound effect to it. So we started using it. Do you understand? So you must have to challenge yourself and get better time. One thing I learned since working with Sunny Original, one is timing, two is precision, and three, you must Hello, sir. Are you still there? Can someone still hear him? Hello, sir. Can you, are you still there? Please, if you can hear me, just turn on your mic. I can, can you hear me, please. Please. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear okay. you. Okay. Well. Okay. Look like uh, he's someone uh, on the uh, on the line. Let me just start contact him and can we can hear him, please.
Please hold on, I'm going to cut in, please. I'm trying to cut that in, please. Sorry about the interruption. Sorry. Uh, let's let's move on. Are you still there? Jump. Um, hello. Okay. Looks like McDonald Samuel is not online at the moment, but we can hear you, sir. You can go on. Okay, okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, see when he comes in. Um, okay. Can I can I move on? Can I go? On? Yes, sir. You can go. Who's in sir. charge right now? You can go on, sir. Yeah. I mean, who is in charge? I need permission to go on. My name is Mukuru. I'm in charge now. Let's you can go for, on, sir. Let's wait for McDonald. Oh, we, we can wait for McDonald. We don't know um, what's disrupting his network and how long it will take. The best thing Someone is um, go on, sir. Um, can you hear me, sir? I can hear are you. Are you, are you giving him okay. the go ahead? Is he approved by Sam no. Wedge here? Now, would you listen to me, please? We actually have this meeting recorded, and anybody who miss out on um, the real-time meeting can actually go back to listen to it via recording. So I would suggest we go on. All right, well, good explanation. Let's go on then. All right, um, <clears throat> let's go on. Um, what was for McDonald? So um, I was saying how to be a graphic, a better graphic designer, not just a graphic designer. Uh, number one is that um, you must dive into the history of graphics design. You no, know? the truth is that you must look back by learning design history its movement and designers, you will become more informed and uh, appreciate not only the work of the past designers, but also to take inspiration from the current design practices. Uh, of course, this will allow you to diversify your tastes and learn um, the history and their movements and the past designers to be able to uh, make a better graphics award designer. The second one is, um, the second one is you must master the design principles. 
So um, before I'm about to tell you what the design principles is all about, but every designer should know the five uh, key uh, principles of design. Uh, you might exceed being five, but the, the five is normally the key. Um, the key, the key, uh, the five key principles are alignment, reputation, contrast, hierarchy, and balance. So these key principles, you must know them as a designer. These are the principles that help to create a cohesive um, design and stability. And it's organized and make your work so consistent. And give, uh, give it an impact and principles as can solve visual and uh, conceptual problems as part of the design process from the research to the data generation and final outcome of that design so you must follow the principle you must follow the principle and it's it's good you follow the principle so you and um, number three there is you jig you jig out the typography you jig out on typography sorry um because one of the basic things in graphic design Sign is how you arrange your text sign for this um, program. Check out how the text are being arranged. You know, that's the that's the, the taste of the graphics. So you must learn how to arrange your text. It's very difficult to, but if you if you be able to do that, you're a good designer. So all the principles and design uh, typography all lies on the arrangement of text and the color and everything settings of the images so these are the basic things so you must the typography relate to ways uh the way you the way a copy is formatted and arranged and within the layout and plays a pivotal role of graphic design it includes um interface uh -huh, point size line spacing of course you know line spacing um letter spacing and planning so um, the fourth one is study the uh, fundamentals of color. Like I said earlier, you must know color. You must know that this goes with this. Um, you must know that yellow goes with red or red goes with blue and blue and blue, green, and this goes with another color. So you must actually be able to um, know the fundamentals of color, colors are uh, affect the mood and personality of a design. So the best way to learn about color combination is to look at the work other designers and uh, other designers have done in studios. So you can then begin to create your own inspiration words and even create more more better than theirs with color pal uh, palettes and invoke different moods. So all these things you must inspiration from people that's the best way to learn then the fifth one is get well vast with get well vast in design terminologies you must know design terminologies as you start learning more about graphic design uh, it's also important get to become acquainted with the terminologies so that you can speak the same language as other designers so it's not that when they say uh, i need more cop i need more cop you go and do something else. Get say, guy, align this well. I align this well. I I don't like your alignment. You don't understand. You say, um, some of my actually say, um, there's no hierarchy in this in this your design. Please, I include hierarchy. You don't know what it means, so you must know the terminologies. Likewise, every other profession, you must know the terminology. If you are a doctor, you must know one or two terminology, doctor terminology, engineers in the building say hi. So you must know one or two engineering, you must know about calibration, you must know about some um, thermodynamics of how things work out and the heat transfer and mass transfer. So you must know the terminologies of every profession. Bankers know their, uh, know their terminologies as well. So number six we have here is um, and you master the design program. It's very important. After the design principles, you master the program. There's no way you can do graphic design without knowing the program. It's, it's essential. You know, sometimes many people go into graphic designing, or uh, many people learn graphic designing. They think that learning the program is learning graphic design. It's different. 
Um, I've learned graphic design for a very long time, but learning graphic design itself is different from learning the program. You get so, but the program is is quite important because if you are not concerned with the program, if you don't know the program, if you can if you can't play around in the program, you won't be able to do your job. Well, even though you have the full knowledge, so you can actually you may require to know. It's a must. In fact, then as a graphic designer, you will need to run learn the basis of um, Adobe, Adobe Creative Cloud and like. Clouds like um, Illustrator, InDesign, good as well. Then you use Photoshop, and moreover, locally to us, the one that has the larger um, workspace is CorelDRAW. It's very fantastic. Photoshop is mainly used for photos, and but you use it for designs as well. Illustrator for vector images, but CorelDRAW is for vector and big bitmap images. So it has a very large um, environment to use it to create anything you like any design like it's it's helpful and it's it's easier to understand and the seventh one you get creatively inspired so looking through design blogs and design books um creative magazines and um social media like instagram pinterest and behance is quite good uh it's a good starting point to discover what type of uh, uh, aesthetic uh, you you you, gra you gravitate um, towards of course um by learning all those things you'll be able to get out your own design you understand so you have to look up to somewhere to you the sec the eighth one you um get social get get social and uh, let people notice you and if because if no one notices you uh you won't be able to um you won't be able to know if you are doing well or bad. So someone have to notice you and say, hey, guy, yeah, you are doing well. Okay? You're not like my, um, Mr. Macroni. Uh, you have, you, so, someone will say, guy, yeah, you are doing well. You're a good designer. Someone will say, ah, this is a bad design. You go back to your drawing board, to your computer, and, start, and talk to yourself and say, man, I have to improve. Understand? So you have to get into social, meet people, and meet designers as well. People that will put you through. Get when you work with people, they will give you work that will challenge you. So those things will help you. Then, then you have the ninth one here is um you have to explore a career path in um graphics design. You know, graphic designing gives more very large opportunity um to explore as you are learning more about graphic design. Start thinking about what type of creative work you are interested in. You get all these things that I'm telling you. This this particular aspect I'm going right now is the most important things that you should have in, at the back of your mind for you to be a good graphic designer. Apart from learning the software itself, you get it's different. But these things now you have to get these principles noted. You get before you be a good graphic designer. So the design industry is constantly evolving and also an exciting career to pursue. Of course, um, as a designer, no day, if, uh, there's no day you don't see exciting things, you don't touch space, career, which includes um, branding and visual identity designer. Um, whether it's an individual startup or startup or small company, um, the kind of uh, in fact, every business has its unique story to tell. Uh, as a designer, it will also it will work with the client. Uh, as a designer, you will work with the clients, of course, to develop a brand identity to bring the brand to life. As what they call brand strategy and tactics. That is different between strategy and tactics. Strategy you must lay out the plans for a particular brand, understand? But tactics is the, is the way you, is the actual way you you tackle that your plans, you execute that your plans, you understand? So that's the, um, that's the, um, the, the tactics there. So you must, um, as a designer, okay, I've already gone through. Then the second one here is, um, 
advertisement and marketing uh, in design. You can design for advertisement and also as marketing as advertisement. It's also um, for so many brands as well who tend to, to advert and actually they want, you can do design for them, for TV show and all that. Uh, you make some designs then for them, for social media, it's just like this particular program right now. Um, that was a, a design for it. So uh, some of my I actually specialize in design so on um, social media it's and all that for YouTube advertisement. The advertisement advertising designer's role is to create the concept that is targeting to the demographic of the products. So you can make something that is not at a lot. For example, that's the way if you look at graphics done by Europeans and Americans and the white people, they, they is different from our own. But our own here, you must. What I learned from my own, you must actually make the dates and the time very bold. People appreciate bold things here. It gets when it comes to just work with them. And so people appreciate bold things. They will allow, want to see it. it gets, it gets, so if you are doing something for a government, uh, government people, so you must learn, you must learn how to more, what they like and what and what that will suit them as well. So you, if you're, for example, you're doing something for APC, you must make sure that their logo and everything you get. <laughs> if you write APC in small letter, you will send a lie, you will not do the Latin, and you go back and redesign it. So you can ask for, uh, as well, uh, better into digital designing. Uh, it refers to design that produce on the screen and cover um, everything from user interface, that is UI, for website and applications. So you can ask for all those who design apps, they need graphic designers as well to um, help them to design uh, very good graphics for their applications and websites. So, you know, sometimes you can be uh, a programmer as well, a designer, it's difficult to find out. So you must, uh, they must have someone who, who does that for them so you can be one of them so um you can actually venture into product designing as a product designer you are part of the entire design process for the product and uh, you can actually be one of those that plays the major role so you can involve in interaction of uh, interactions like uh, ux designers graphic and visual designers users such as data analysis and prototyper or even a business strategist gets some of you guys are business strategists, right? <laughs> so it's nice. So, so, so many, there are so many um, ways you can explore graphic designing. Another one is in editorial, you can start designing magazine because some original may actually decide to um, develop a, a magazine, or Gasami's magazine, you get sports magazine, uh, just like. Uh, Gazeta de la Sports and all that, Maca and all that. So start, he will need a designer. He will need designers to work, not only a designer, he will need designers. So you can decide to go into that as well. You are responsible for creating design for magazine and ebooks, such as creating the cover layout of gra and graphics. So um, as an editorial designer, you are responsible to convey the idea of that editorial. <clears throat> so um, you can ask where another place is packaging design. Uh, these um, can make a sufficient impact on the visibility of the brand in the market through creating the packaging for a new brand or redesigning the old packaging, which can greatly impact the brand image and boost the product sale. These things are very, very important. You know, sometimes you see some products they will, if they want to make another impact in the market, they will go back and rebrand. So rebranding your graphic designer is in, is plays an important role in that rebranding. You see um, brand like uh, Guinness, they will make more, they will go back and change their, their brand, their, their stickers and all those things to make sure that they keep their brand alive. Get so um, graphic designers involved in that you can evolve in hype based design and combine the, the knowledge of a typography and to create an interface. It's just what I mean by typeface designer. 
So also you can also involve in human center design is also known as design thinking that informs all facets of design and um, design processes. So it's, it's, you can explore that as well. It's part of the design. So um, you can be a freelancer. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course you can be a freelancer. Uh, it's very most important. Some people go to Viver and they do design and sell it up and make their money. So it's, it's good. You can be a freelancer. You can actually do online freelancing, private or maybe in a website to find. Then you can actually do that as well. Okay, so let's go straight to um, what I mean by design principles. So before you start designing, you must know the principles. If before you start, before you enter this, before you join this Zoom meeting, you must know the principles um, of a next media uh, star. Yes. So one of the principles is to um, uh, uh, mute your your microphone while the lecture is on. So right now I'm going to unleash the principles of design. Like I, I earlier mentioned, I mentioned five key principles, but right now I think I'm going to mention more than that um, five or up to six or something. That's it's all the principles. So, so on design principles are rules a designer must follow to create an effective and what attractive composition, a composition of a design. So it's, um, it's simple. It's a principle. So however, the fundamental principles are um, emphasis, okay? Emphasis is, uh, it involves uh, having a mental outline and letting your brain recognize the information and then lay it out to the design in a way uh, that it communicates and pass the information that you want. So you must not, uh, for example, you have um, get yourself trained from the best man in the business. So sometimes you look at the major, the major thing there. On all of the designs, the, the, the most outstanding thing there is the most catchy thing is that get yourself trained. You get, get yourself trained uh, by the best man in the business. So in all design graphics, the, in all the design there, that is the most catchy thing. So you must have to recognize and emphasize on that. Then another one is balance. The balance and alignment, sorry. So balance, I've already said alignment and balance it, of course. So you must have to align your words very well. So you get most designers struggle to align that, to do that, you get. So, but you must find it um, a place to be able to do it before they'll call you a good designer. You no, know, in design, in graphic design, you learn every day. <laughs> You learn every day, so you don't don't only rely on yourself. Like I said before, you look you look out for more design samples and be able to develop yourself and sorry improve yourself as well. So um, alignment is one of the key things there. It involves arrangement of your text and the positioning them as it's supposed to be. So alignment is there. Then that one is contracts and. It's, it's very important as well to know about contracts. It's something that sticks to your uh, to people's memory whenever they look at your design, whenever they look at your graphics. So it creates space and um, it creates space and difference between elements. So it's contracts. So another one is reputation. Sometimes you may decide to repeat um, font or color in a particular design. So Reputation is there, so you must learn how to repeat them so that you, <laughs> you don't go and mix up fonts that will be uh, when so well, the kind of shady. When someone looks at the design, you'll be like, I'm on this thing, no go away now. I know they see anything there. All the fonts are bold, it's not proper now. So when you make all the fonts bold, uh, people will be, will be like, I'm on thing too big, yet I, I can't see anything. They can't figure out something, they can't. Be able to read them. It's not that they can't see, but they can't be able to. It's nothing can catch their eyes. So you make some bold and some smaller as well. So the case in the
Yes, I see there. All right, I think he's off. I can't hear him now from my end. So you about the, the some original design. Get, get yourself trained um, by the best man in the business. Supersede is bigger than every other thing in that graphics, right? So um, um, it's a kind of, um, the way it's placed, is what we call a hierarchy. This one is bigger and this one is smaller. And this one is um, this one is very important. It's very important in design. So movement, this controls the element in, um, in the composition so that the eye is led to the um, to, to move from one place to the other um, and catch the, the The information properly so information properly um that's movement so the seventh one is white paper some white paper means these are the, um, the spaces that that's left in your design sometimes you may decide to leave that it may, it may be fine it may be fantastic but um sometimes it's not really good sometimes you get so your choice but when you are living in a white space in your design show that uh, someone can actually can communicate someone can actually understand what you need and uh, catch the information you are passing but because the essence of doing the graphics is to pass information so but you have to know something now among all these um and the the principles all these principles sorry you must note something in some cases um, when designing it doesn't you don't have to uh, st uh, stick to the principles so sometimes um, some people go out of the rules to make a very a better graphics so well, a mind-blowing one for that matter so um if you know what you want stick to the look at the principles and uh, work with them but sometimes you can actually with the principles and um one of two principles, not really all, because you cannot wave all the principles. You can just wave one or two to make your graphics sort um, better. And so, and that is all for now. For um, from that particular one, there's the principles of um, design. So we go over. To, I don't know if you have any question, or should I just continue? Then after which, you can ask your question. Okay, I think I have to continue. So let me uh, run through, let me run through um, some softwares that you can use to achieve the whole, um, these designs, you know, like I've been telling you stories and the design principles and all that, how you go along with your design, what you do to be better and all those things. But you, you don't know the software is, <laughs> it's a very big problem. So if you have the knowledge, you don't have the tool. How can you work? You must, you know, have the knowledge. You can operate the machine. You can, it can work. You get so when you when you get to industry where you, for example, where they produce foam or paint. Okay, so you know how the, the you know how the mixture is. You know what and what. All right. You know what and what you do. You know what and what you do to to actually uh, make a good paint or make a good product, but you know you don't know how to control the machine, uh, manage the machine. It's, it's a very big problem. So you have to know how to set the machine and use the machine for you to achieve. Um, the product desired product or not really teaching, not just give you the basis of product sorry. because teaching you yes. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're demanding for, for questions. Okay, for now, let me just finish so that you ask your question, all right? Can someone right. say something? Okay. Can I continue? Hello? Yes, I have, yes, I have to continue, continue, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, I'm sorry that teaching you courage or maybe yes, a bit. I, yeah. 
I I'm said, not hearing clearly from my own end, though. I'm not hearing clearly from my end. Can you raise your voice a little? Okay, okay. My voice is quite loud. So um, I said, teaching you courage or maybe a bit difficult. or even Photoshop may be a bit difficult because you to run through the basics so that you understand uh, not only teach you about graphics designing, I also let you understand the one of two programs that you can use to achieve whatever I've said so far. So um, let's go to basics of CorelDRAW. Um, uh, this... Uh, this division includes um, um, you, you need to know about courage or you get the program is too large. There's so many things you can do on courage. There's so many designs you can do there. You can decide to create a design, uh, draw someone there, and make uh, a sketch and all that. Some people do it for so many things, for artwork and all that. So um, you need to understand the basic things you need to understand is um, the bitmap and the vector graphics on CorelDRAW. Then the second one is you need to know how you open the drawing, know how to open and start the drawing. Then uh, you need to know how to scan and import images. You need to know how to implement uh, multiple drawings. Uh, you need to how, know how to repeat, to redo and undo your actions. Um, you need to uh, be able to scroll around and zoom around the, um, the program is very important. Reviewing your drawings, saving is quite uh, necessary. So when it comes to understanding the bitmaps and the vector images, um, well, you need to know the difference between both. So that is the most important thing there. So, the Corel Draw, like I told you earlier, you can use it to create a vector image and as well a bitmap image. So that's the, um, the beauty of Corel Draw. So um, the bitmap and vector graphics are two primary computer graphic types. Understand? The, the, these vector graphics have have made uh, are made of curves and um, are made of curves and lines. Get the vector graphics are made of curves and lines. and operation on the computer program itself, then the lines will show you the midpoint Can I look at the record number online, please hold on. You can join us. Well, let's still hold on. I shall soon join us. Please. Okay. 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 Um, funny about why we're waiting for him. Funny about what he um, said previously. Do someone, or um, can someone just um, tell us what he or she understand? I want to just.
If please, if you can hear me, say I can hear you, please. Please, if you can hear me, say I can hear you, please. I can hear you. Okay, please, our lecture is off. Please, if you have uh, something that you understand do, uh, during this our lecture, you can just share it with us. So waiting. Anybody has something you or she would say? Um, basically, all we've um, been taught is actually made implemented by doing practicals. It means it's a practical course and more of a theoretical course. Um, he has made mention of Corel Draw, of um, Photoshop. All of those are software that um, one cannot actually have an understanding of, except you actually work on them. It means direct implementation. You have to go get the software where you have a system that load them into your system and then make practicals of them. But there's a quick way we can actually learn this graphic um, design as a class. That means he has to um, limit it to smartphone graphics. If you limit it to smartphone graphics, then we can have um, a clue as to working on the other bigger software he has just mentioned. Like he made mention of mockups. Um, I believe mockups are used for smartphone graphics, and um, he would just have to explain that in details to us. Thank you. That's my take on it. Hello, I believe everyone heard me. McDonald, um, if yes, you're there, yeah, you can on, actually take off. Okay, I, I said I said some certain things um not quite long. I believe everyone brought that. Hello. Hello. Please can I can I pick a hear and the try, please? Yeah. Okay, okay, my question. I just asked a question. I go always. Okay, I said, I go I said, I, okay, okay. Now, um, so it means um, we would just have to wait for our lecturer when he comes. We could tell him to uh, zero the class down to smartphone graphics to enable us have a better understanding of what graphic design is. Then we can actually on our own implement what we've been taught from smartphone graphics to making uh, graphics on the softwares he made mention of that's my take someone else can actually make contributions yeah actually yeah supported supported uh that would be really nice at least you know once he comes back he makes us to have a good understanding practical things in the plan here, no. this one take on assignment, so we'll work on All right, um, thank you so much. Um, uh, does anybody else have what you are sharing from uh, this lecture? Sorry, I'm back. Um, sorry for the uh, disruption. So, can you hear me? Hello, all right, sir. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, the floor is yours. Okay, okay. So, as I was saying, um, there are two ways to get in the images. Either you import or you scan. So, yeah. So I mean, hello, can you hear me?
Can someone hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Um, I mean, there's two ways to there are two ways to actually get in images. Um, in your career job program. So you can either import, you go to file and import or click on import or you can scan. You can uh, scan your image in. So for scanning image in, you go to your file, you go to acquire image and click on following commands. So you can click, you click on choose uh, WIA source. It can be used for any scan applied WIA driver. So you just click there, then select the scanning scanner from the dialog. You choose a scanner, you must know the scanner's name, then click on uh, acquire image and acquire it. So that is it. Scan. Sorry, click on scan and scan, scan it. So um, then let's go to repeat, undo, and redo actions. So we can undo any action that we, uh, we perform in Core Draw, uh, beginning with some of the most recent operations. If we do not like the, the, the undoing of any operation uh, results, so we can actually do it. So undo settings uh, are there. You can just go there and check up the undo and redo, then repeat as well. So you can click on edit and repeat. So you can zoom around the Corridor applications and as well, you can use panning, uh, you use the one that has hands, you draw your, 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 uh, your page close and you can scroll around the program as well. It's helpful. Like zooming is very helpful. When you are doing a design, you zoom it, zoom it so that length, especially with lines or shape, so that you make sure that the lines meet each other at certain point, a supposed point to get so that, because you might actually, when you zoom out, you might actually think that um, the line meets, but when you zoom in, you find out that the line uh, is uh, doesn't meet uh, with the other one. So um, when, I, I think that you did not zoom it in to find out that you, you end up getting uh, a messy design because when you, after designing the results will be somehow, may find out that the, the line somehow crossed each other. So, which is not good for you. So you zoom in to actually notice that. So that's the essence of zoom. So we can actually zoom in, zoom out, zoom selected and zoom to all objects. And as well, uh, use the, the tool to actually highlight your image. That's how you do that. So there are so many tools we have in, um, in, in Core Draw. Get there are so many, lot of tools in Core Draw. So all you need to do is go check out the software, check out the tools, and you'll be able to, to explore them. Get so because sometimes, you know, this what I'm actually telling you, you need practice to be honest, because using those tools can be somehow stressful when you don't understand them at all. So how do you understand them? You understand them by practicing them, knowing how it works. Because what I'm telling you about courage or high here, if you don't practice it, you will not know it. So well, you need someone to guide you and teach you how to use it. But what I'm telling you will actually help you, will give you a guide so when you go to practice it, you won't find it strange. You understand? So you won't find it strange. I think that I have the opportunity to show you all how these things work. Uh, this thing works, it's revered, uh, better, but for now, you don't have such an opportunity. So what we do is, so for some of you who have already already, you go there and use it as much as you want and explore the program. So because the next one we have as a software we use is Photoshop. You know, some people, most people use Photoshop and Photoshop, you know, is many meant for photo editing. You get photo editing and 
graphics design. So we're well, using it to do graphic design. People find it very interesting. You get so that's why we use it mostly. Yeah. So we use it for graphic design because it has interesting. Um, okay. So um, how to use it? Step one: you create a new project. You get you create a new project. Open the Photoshop. Then you go to um, column mode. When you open it, you go to go to new and set the document. You get then the column mode. This is the color type of a docu for your document. You get it's just. Uh, what I suggest you leave the color mode at RGB color for now and keep it as at eight eight bits. You get it's more of default. So the background content should be. Um, um, like I suggest you leave it at white or transparent if you are good, transparent or white is fine. So then advanced settings, you can actually, this for advanced users, you can just adjust a little, put your resolution, maybe some people use 300, 250, 100, and so on and so forth. To so know your resolution is for advanced. Now once you have selected the settings for, for, of all you want, then you click OK. Then the basic tools in um, uh, um, Photoshop, uh, I'll be going through all of the basic tools you need to know um, to get started on Photoshop. So um, I, I start with move tool. Then um, this tool can be used to move items around, get, can be used to move items around then we have Marquee tool. Marquee tool is, uh, can be used to make selections. There are four different Marquee tools. There are four different Marquee tools. Um, these two can be used to make selections um, in a rectangular form, like a rectangular selection. Then you have uh, elliptical tool. This will make an elliptical to make have a, make an elliptical selection. Sorry about the noise. Um, we have single column too. Single column will make a single column selection. Get okay. so we have single row. This will make a a row selection as well. You have lasso. <laughs> lasso too can make. A, what's making the noise? On the conference room. Okay, no problem. Sorry about that. It's noise coming from the conference room. So um, the lasso tool can also be used to make selection. Then there are the three different types. We have um, the lasso that makes free selections. We have the polygonal lasso, which makes a selection with selections with line. We have the magnetic lasso, which makes selections by shape onto the object. Then we have peak selection. These two can be used to make selections of objects by painting on them with an adjustable watch brush. Then we have crop tools. We have, you can use it to trim your image. You have eraser, use it to erase pixels. Use it to erase pixels. Use it to erase pixels and um, brush, use it to paint and stroke. Then we have pencil tool. There are hard edge strokes. You know, we get it from the brush. It use it to drop it. Use it now, please. So vessel gap. So I'm um, sorry. Um, you have gradient. Um, these two. This tool can be used to make a straight line, a radial angle and reflected or even diamond blend between colors. You know, you see some, you see some designs that has, um, one side has a different color, one side has a different color, the other color you get. So it's called gradient. It's, it, it, gradient tool is used to achieve that. So you choose your color wisely because color combinations can may or mar your what design. You understand, so know how play around with color, like I said earlier. Know your color and paint buckets uh, fills uh, similar colored areas with the foreground color. Then, pen is you know, pen is in 
corridor as well. Most of these tools are in corridors. Some of them are in corridors as well. So, so use pen tool to draw anything in freehand pen or create parts um, in your document. Type to use it to type text is in corridor as well. Use it to type text. Um, shape tool. These tools can be used to create shapes. Um, uh, there's up to I mean up to six different types of um, shape tools. Um, rectangle like rounded rectangle, ellipse, it is you know, circle, polygon, and you have line and custom. Custom, you get some custom shapes. I right? just just click on it and draw. You see some people some some of it uh, is just. Uh, like one of it is just um, butterfly. You see pen. You see some time, something like symbols of time and dates. You can just click and draw it there. It's, it's custom. You choose your choose wisely. <laughs> so we have hand to hand to can can be used to move an image in the window. So we have zoom, zoom in and out. Then we have so these um, these are the tools we have. Um, in Photoshop, then we walk straight to um, we walk straight to step three, which is the layers and group, group and guide. Right? So um, layers uh, are very useful in Photoshop. Each layer is an individual, um, which means you can edit it without editing any other layer. Yet, how to create a layer? Just to create a new layer, just go on into layer, create new. Create and click on layer by clicking on the box with the folded corner corner at the bottom right of the bottom right hand, sorry, on the color of the window. So you have locking layer, just lock up your image. Uh, there are three different. We have transparent pixel lock. This will make the pixel. Uh, this will make the pixel you erase to uh, uh, erase you to be gathered together and be locked. So image pixel. This will this means that you can't change the pixel into any such uh, anything such as coloring uh, in it. So you've locked it already. Then positioning later. Once you position and lock the image, the image, you cannot shift it any longer. So hiding layer. You can as well hide your layer. Just click on there's the eye in that Photoshop. Just click on that eye. You hide your layer. Very important. If you don't want them to see it, just hide the visibility. Thank you. So layer style. There are there are um, some settings that can be changed uh, in that particular layer to look different. You can go and change the opacity. You can change the stroke. I put an outline to it. The opacity is just um, uh, to change the opacity of the light. That is make it faint, small, make it going, um, make it very sharp. So inner shadow, you can as well change that. Inner glow, and then color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, um, mm, outer glow as well, and drop shadow. Then you put shadow on your what? design. You know, Photoshop has so many tricks. That's one thing about it. it. has so many tricks you can perform. We call it effect. So you can as well look out for effect on YouTube and explore Photoshop on your designs. Um, so step four here, we have filters and image adjustment. This one concerns mostly image. When you have your image, you're working on certain image with certain image, but it's not fine. You have to adjust the image and make it fine so that it look better. In your graphics so um we have brightness and contrast you go to image go to adjustment go to brightness and contrast and achieve that you will now see the two solids and one of them one for the brightness and the other one for the contrast and play around with the slides till you think your photo looks better so um, you have vibrance go to image as well go to adjustment and you get vibrance you you now see to it uh, uh, the slide as well. Click on vibrance, adjust um, the vibrance to your picture. What gets better? Go to filter as well, um, filter gallery, and as well, you open a new window and zoom 100% fits. 
and to view very well. So start making some necessary adjustments that you wish to do. Uh, you have a lot of different filters there. So that so the best thing you do there is to look at all of them and pick the best one that suits what you want to do. Like you have sketching, you have um, liquidification, like liquidify and all that. So choose the one you want and make it better. So that's all for now for Photoshop that takes and all that Photoshop as well. So I think that's all for now. Um, let me see if I can see any. Um, okay, okay, it's fine. So um, I think your question should be coming right now so that I round up um, and all that. So it's one hour, like one hour and four minutes right now. So I think your question should be coming so that I round up. Hello, sir. All right, thank you. I'm here. Um, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, I noticed that um the class is supposed to be a more practical class where we see what you're doing, but um exactly. for the fact that you couldn't navigate through the software we're using for the meeting, your screen wasn't shared. Now, my take on this would be it's not a question; it's just a suggestion. Is there any way we could go back to um, our group chat on WhatsApp where you could um, lay these processes down for us one after the other? And if that cannot be achieved, is there any way you could teach us zero this lecture down to smartphone graphics? And the ideas we pick from smartphone, gra from smartphone graphics, we can actually implement them using uh, the various softwares you've taught us today. Thank you. Um, you can go on WhatsApp and um, repeat that your question, Elizabeth. The last line. Now, I said, um, is there any way we could go on WhatsApp where you actually show us the practical aspect of all you've taught us today, laying down on the steps one after the other, or if that cannot be achieved? Is there any way you could zero this class to smartphone graphics? Okay. Then the ideas we pick from smartphone graphics, we could implement all you've taught us on the various softwares using all of the collective ideas we've gotten from smart phone graphics. Okay, okay. Um, I don't... ...use smartphone. But if you, if you know how to use a um, computer program, using smartphone won't be a problem to you. So as for going to WhatsApp um, to... to um, teach the program. It's, it's still not to really be possible to get, you can't teach courage on WhatsApp. Get, the only thing you can do there is just to show images. And, um, and that thing, I don't think time will permit me to do that. Get, so um, the best okay, way is um... one -on -one lecture. Get, show you the tools you use because that even though I'm teaching you via um, WhatsApp or something else, it should be maybe a kind of conference call or something, but it's, you do not last, there was no time for that. Just have your time to tell you, show you the key points and places you click um, to actually get that. Sorry, before you ask another question, there's a question that was dropped on the message. Someone says, um, okay, let me get that question. Someone, says that um, uh, what kind of app or software can we use to for Photoshop? Photoshop is uh, a, an app or a software by itself. So you can, there's no other app you use for it. You get, yeah, so it's an app. So you get the software, get the application in your phone and practice it. Courage as well is an application. Like when I was teaching you, I, I was, um, I was actually, I told you that, I told you these are the programs that you use to actualize all other theories that have been going, I've been teaching you all those things, design principles and how to be a better designer, how, what design means and branding and all those things that I've taught you. So the application you use to achieve all these things is CorelDRAW, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign and Summit, all that. So that's why I will be able to uh, uh, the Photoshop 
So Photoshop is just a program on its own. So um, is there another question? Okay, um, you made mention of mockups um, from the beginning. Could you explain to what the mockups are? Okay, um, mockup is a special effect design, special design. You get, um, I would have shown you what mockups, but I don't have mockup right now, but it's just a design that you have um, the background is separate, then there's something that's a shadow in, in, uh, at the back of the main design. I, I can't show you, but it's a special kind of design using Photoshop to achieve. Uh, most times, um, yes, um, Corredra as well. So, well, okay, let me just explain more better. The mock up is just an artistic. Um, rendering of a design just just make your you usually use it mostly for products and sales you get so most times you see some products some you know, sometimes iphone will be on top of a book who put iphone on top of a, a book or a box no it's it's mock up you get an iphone somewhere get um the iphones something maybe you're advertising a new phone Get the screen and put place into a design and place it on top of a book. Then make it make the shadow very nice on the background. It's a mock-up, so it can be that it, it showcases um it showcases um the products the said product in action. Yet if you are seeing the product, you are seeing what is the, what the product is doing. For example, you have you want to do you want to make a bag. A, 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 um, what do you call it? What do you call it? A bag that you use to supply, like Ogasami wants to customize a bag for his um, for his uh, uh, the Jesse business. So whenever you buy something, you just put it just like a market square and all those businesses they will use a customized bag. So you can just I want I'm a designer. Ogasami say, okay, give me a prototype of a bag that I like. So what you do? What you do is um. As a designer, you make a mock-up of that design. Show Ogasami. This is a sample. So mock-up, you usually use it for more prototypes and model and to showcase the product in action. So Ogasami's logo will be on that bag. Then you present it. I, I guess you must have seen something like that before. So that is what we call mock-up designs. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Finally, my uh, next question would be, um... You made mention of Coral Draw and Photoshop. Can these yeah. softwares be um, handy? Do they come in smartphone um, softwares? Yes, like I, I that's that's same question I answered from that message. It's a software on its own. It has an app. It has a, a software. So Corel um, Corel comes with suits. Likewise, Photoshop comes with suits. Adobe suits. You get and uh, versions of and version support Photoshop you get. So it's um, it's a software, or so you can get it as uh, an application. I think Photoshop application is up to 60 MB on Play Store. Um, um, I, don't know for, I don't know Courage if it has an app, but issue. But Photoshop app is ready, is on, on Play Store. You can go and download it and practice it. You know, but the version of Windows and the version of um, phones app would be a kind of different, but the same thing, the same thing, the same uh, uh, tools and everything. So it's an app and it has an app and it's a software as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Another question? Okay. Okay. Recommend. So, okay. Someone said, um, please recommend a Photoshop app. Photoshop is an app. It has a. It has an. It has an. Yeah. It has an. Um, Adobe is is part of Adobe Suite. So it's it's a different. You have you have Adobe Lightroom, you have Premiere Pro, which is used for video editing. You have others. So we have Adobe Photoshop. We have Adobe Illustrator. Do you understand me? So Illustrator is mostly used for 
you know, Photoshop is mostly used for images, this uh, photo editing. Now, Illustrator is mostly used for vector. Do you understand? So it has a software, it's, it's a software. It's a software, it has an app too, but it's a software. Application is the one you get in mobile phone. Then software is one you get in your what? Um, PC, that is personal computer. Then, like I said, that's Adobe Suite now. You have Photoshop and you have Illustrator. Illustrator use uh, makes use of uh, most times you do vector image. But that, you know, current draw has um, the you do a vector and a bitmap image in Corel Draw. That's why is I told you that it has a very large um, workspace that you can work with. Corel Draw is very versatile, so you can do anything you want. So it's an application. It's an application. Um, let's check up. Another question. Mm. Okay. 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 I've already done that. So, any other question? Okay, I'm still taking questions. Are you there? Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm here. Um, you made mention about um, color psychology being a principle of design. Now, my question is, what are the basic colors to make a design for a beginner um, before you start improving on your color perception? What are the basic colors you'd advise a beginner to start with? No, I can't. I can't tell you the color to use for your design. Just have to learn about color, how understand how color works. Yes. Like I said earlier, when you mix black and white, what it will produce? Will it be will it be okay for your design? That's what you ask yourself. So if you if you combine red and uh, blue, and if it's not okay for your design, you change it. So what I'm telling uh, the, the the color there is try to understand. The principle can read up principles of color online and find out you get so you try to mix a good color choose a good color for your design you get so why are you doing an for example why are you doing um, something that uh, something for apc people you must know that apc color is um a green white uh, light, I think light blue and red, right? So you will not go and use all the APC color for that design. It's, it, you complicate your design. You know? The highest you choose, that's why I say reputation in principles. So you choose maybe two colors there. Red and light blue or green. Get, choose and swap the colors and make the background different from the color up. So you can can't use a color show. You get so you choose your color wisely. If you have a green background, use find color that will that will come out of that background. That green background. You can use white or yellow. It will come out from green. So read about color. You know the RGB color, red and uh, green and blue. When you combine red, green and blue, you produce what? You produce a, you get white color. And when you produce Y, uh, C, M, uh, Y, K color, you get that. This is color technology. <laughs> you get 
So you can read up about that, or you can come to my department to we'll teach you color technology for free, <laughs> as if you get admission there. So more one thing is uh, read about color, know about principles on color mixture, how to fine tune your design because color kills design. Color makes a good design. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Ebenezer Michael, it's like my donut is no longer in the class, but your hand is raised up. You can go ahead and ask a question. Ebenezer Michael. You could go ahead and ask a question. Mr. Ijiro, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So I'm asking which online platform can we go to get design jobs? Design jobs. Uh, yes, you yes, mentioned of. Hello, sir. Yeah, I can hear you. So I mentioned um, of. I I I don't I'm understand the. I'm actually I'm actually having two persons talking at the time, and I don't know which question I'm to take. Ebenezer, is that your question? Which yes. site you could go to get design jobs? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, for now, there are so many sites. Like it's it's what I call free freelancing. You can get from Viva. Just uh, create your account and market yourself. People will start calling you. The Fiverr, sorry. Go to. Uh, Go online and search there. You can, in fact, go to Google and search for freelance sites. You see them. Now, like I just mentioned, a five hour. You can actually search there, and um, even um, okay, yeah, Canva. I think Canva is a company as well. But you see, so many designs in Canva. You can edit and make your own create account with them, and showcase. They can actually buy you. You have um. Uh, Ficat, some designs are there. If you work with them, they can actually um, uh, showcase your designs and all that. But you must work up to their standard now. But Fiverr is a freelance um, site. So when you get there, you just create your widget. And after which you just, when you place your tag or your description and every, if I create your profile, what you do and how to get to you, then it's all there so people can contact you. That's for freelancing. You get for me, I don't do freelancing, but I've done it as well. Maybe that 2014 or 2015, I did freelancing though. You get, but you must be consistent and you must be creative before you be able to get because there's so many good designers there and it's a foreign company. So you can also get um, a local company or local website, but you have to search. So for me, I'm not into freelancing. If you go to, what, like what you are talking about, showcase your designs, uh -huh, it's freelancing. So you get a local freelance um, companies and join. It's, it's fair enough, it's good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, it's raining from my own end. Is there anybody still with a question? 
looks like my bullet is not in the class at the moment. If there's anyone with a question, you can go ahead and ask your question before we call the meeting to an end. Mr. Chidindu, thank you for your time. This is where we would uh, draw the class to a close. Um, we appreciate you so much for coming. Your lectures have been of immense um, contribution to our knowledge as pertaining graphics. We appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, thanks, Sami Ogasami, for actually pulling this together. And um, thank you all for being part of it. Um, I pray that you grab everything thank you on very much, sir. To, to grab this one. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Just for the records, I stood in for the class captain for the day. Uh, his network was so bad that he could not carry on with us. Thank you very much. We appreciate you, sir. All right. That's good. We hope thank to have um, this class. We hope to have this class another time again. So we would pleasure our principal to see that you come up and maybe this time we'll have visual um, aspects to your class. We'll have visuals together with the, the class so it will make more meaning to us. Thank you very much. All right. That was good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir.